Hey guys, just got in the Sestava M70. It's pretty caked with Cosmoline. So, first, we're gonna check the chamber. Make sure there's nothing in there. Nothing there. Nothing in the magazine. So, we're just gonna take this whole thing, throw it in the ultrasonic cleaner for a little bit, get rid of uh, some of this Cosmoline, and then uh, take it apart and get it ready for firing. All right, now we got this washed up enough where we can uh, tear it apart. So first things first, I'm gonna push down right here on the slide spring. Just push it down like that. And then this end cap, slide around like that. Remove that, put it in the parts bucket. Spring pops up like that. And then you can remove the slide stop. You may have to jiggle it a little bit. Basically, you pull out the spring there, remove the slide back a little bit, then you should be able to pull that right out of there. So that'll come sliding off of there. Spring itself comes off. The barrel pushes through the front. And then we can remove the extractor from there. So we're just going to push out the pin here from behind. There we go. Pin comes out. Pull your punch out of there. Then, extractor should just come right out of there. And then, there's a little spring in here that you can remove as well. Just right there. So, extractor is out of there. Next, we're gonna pull out the firing pin. For this, we're just going to push a punch down. Push it all the way down, 
And then there's a plate here that we're going to slide over that way. Just press down, slides over. And then just so the firing pin doesn't go shooting out, put your hand over it like that. You can slide it the rest of the way. Just like that. So there's that little plate right there. And you have your firing pin. Which has a little end cap on there like that. There's a larger spring that pushes up against it that locks it all into place. Of course you have your firing pin here. Then there should be one more spring inside of there. Yeah, there we go. And then this, the smaller one, goes right there. Anyways, goes into the parts bucket. Then your slide, it's all disassembled. We'll put that off to the side for now. Next, we'll do the magazine. All you need is a flathead screwdriver. Pop in the tab right there while pushing this forward. Just like that, that little plate comes off. There's a smaller plate here that has the tab that keeps this all uh, this all assembled. Your spring comes out. And then there's the top plate right there. So that's the magazine disassembled. Next we'll come back to here. And for now, we'll just remove the hammer and sear assembly. Set that off to the side. And first thing we're going to do with this is remove the grips. So inside of here, you can see it right there. Maybe add a little bit more light. There's this little tab right here that if you press into it, you can slide it over that way and that'll unlock the grips. There we go. So that's a little bit of a look at the mechanism there. So that slides back and forth to lock it against the frame. So set that off to the side for now. Then same thing for the other side. This one you can either move up like that or down, whatever is easiest. Moving that up seemed to work okay. And then that pops right off there. Next, we're going to take out the magazine release. So for that, we're going to start it off by tapping it a few times right here on that pin. Just to get it started, you'll see a pop down. So this has a little wedge on there. So you want to get it to go into the, the hole right there and then use a slightly smaller punch to actually drive it the rest of the way through. There. And then that so what locks it in from that side, and that is the actual button. So you can see the little wedge area right there. Parts bucket. All right, next we're gonna take off the, uh, the trigger. And for this, there is a spring plate in the back of here that we're just gonna press down on it and then kind of pull this whole thing at an angle out of there. So press down, start to move it down, and then, yeah, you actually squeeze the trigger, should just force it to slide down like that, and then it comes out pretty easy. So next, we can take off this uh, spring bar here, but to make it a little bit easier because it's on a lot of pressure. By the way, I don't recommend this unless you actually need to clean everything because this is a little bit of a pain to get back put, put back together again. 
is, first we're going to have to remove the safety. And in order to do that, we have part of that plate, that spring plate, reaches up here behind the safety. So we actually need to push it a little bit out of the way, and then remove the safety. And then from there, we'll have a lot easier access for removing the spring, spring plate here. So press that down. At the same time, move the safety all the way. There we go. That kind of pops out of there. Have to press down on that again. Kind of give it a little, little bit of leeway. There we go. And then that's able to pop right out of there. Then from there, spring plate will be able to fall right out of there. And your pin should also just fall out as well. So that's the whole frame taken apart. You know, you'll probably see here is the uh, magazine safety. Um, I don't believe you can actually remove that. So we're not going to bother. All right. Next thing we're going to take apart is the hammer and sear assembly. So first we're going to start with the hammer, which is this big pin right here. And there's a giant spring on the bottom. So we don't want to just punch through this. Um, otherwise it's going to go flying everywhere. So we're going to start it off with a punch that's about the same size as the hole there, maybe a little bit smaller. There you go. That's almost through. So there's your pin for that. And then holding the hammer, just hold it in your hand like that and then pull this away. There you go. There, just like that. So your hammer is there, you have a little spring, it's a little plunger cap that goes on top of there. Just put that off to the side. And then we have the sear and uh, the safety plate here. And that, without the pressure of the hammer, should just come out pretty easily. So just pop the pin out there. And then these two should just fall out like that. All right. So that's everything disassembled.
All right, we got everything nice and dry and mostly clean. So we're going to go through and oil a bunch of this using Mossy Oak CLP. Just give it a nice light layer of oil just to protect from any rust or water. And also to remove any remaining cosmoline off of there. So the ultrasonic cleaner did a pretty decent job, but probably see on the rag there, there's still a little bit left. So it's good just to give her everything a once wipe down. Just to put a nice layer of protection on there and also make sure we get the last bit of that grime off of there. You don't have to go crazy with the oil, just enough to give it a nice little layer on there. So I'm looking at this, and it looks like this was in pretty good condition. It's a few, a few spots here and there that looks like the bluing is rubbing away, but it's nothing too serious. Don't need to like refinish it or anything like that. And just oil it up a little bit and should be good to go.
I'm going to run a brush down here because I did see a little bit of gunk in there. Hopefully it's nothing that should come out. Just running the brush through there a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, looks fine, so we'll run a little bit of cotton through there. There we go, should be good enough. really nice in there. Nope. One thing I don't want to lose is a little extractor spring. Put that over there. For these, I'm just adding oil on the inside to make that a little bit easier to turn for when we do the reassembly of everything. I'll probably actually add just a little bit of oil down there. Just to help that along. There we go. 
Same thing with this one. And the last thing we'll do is we'll just run one of these through each of the magazines just to give it a little bit of a coating in there. All right, now that we got everything oiled up and cleaned, we can start doing reassembly. We're gonna start with the slide first. Okay, we're gonna put the extractor in here. So first things first, we're gonna put in our extractor spring. Goes in there like that. Then pop in the extractor, slide in like that. We're going to use a pin to, sorry, a punch to hold it in place. There we go. We put our pin in here. That punch will just help guide it along a little bit. All right, so that is in there. And we just want to check really quick to make sure that that pin is not uh, coming past the uh, where the slide is going to be, otherwise it'll catch it while the slide is going back and forth. But we'll do a couple more taps just to seat it. Perfect. Next, we'll do the firing pin. So we have our small spring goes on the top like that, the little cap on there, and we have our larger spring right there that goes around the whole thing, and then we will drop that right inside, just like that, and then in order to lock this in place, you need to line up the notches. So, rounded side, goes towards the top, and you'll see right here there's a little notch right there, and that lines up right here. So we're going to use that as our guide to push everything in. All right, push that on there. Press down. Everything locks into place, just like that. And there we go. Slide is ready to go. All right, we're gonna do our frame next. So first thing we need to put in is the spring plate here. Pop that in there. Then we slide pin into place.
There we go, just like that. And then we need to install the safety next. So this can be a little bit troublesome. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is this little tab of the spring plate, you're gonna wanna push it back a little bit until it kind of pops into place in the back there. All right, so it's there. Then we we'll wanna put our safety in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna press up against that, uh, that spring plate, tuck the safety behind it, and then we'll move it into place. And, and this is kind of why I said before, um, unless you absolutely need to, I wouldn't, I wouldn't remove the safety or the, uh, or the spring plate because this is kind of a huge pain in the butt to do. And you will, of course, want to kind of line it up with the safety rail right here as much as you can. So we got it snapped into kind of place there. So now that it's kind of in this position right here, move your safety up to where it's lined up with the rail. And then we're gonna use, we're gonna use that, there we go. We're gonna use that pin right there to kind of leverage down, pull up on the safety and then push forward on it lock it into place on the other side. So you can kind of see where the safety and that spring are in place right there. So let's get this done. And just like that. So it does take a little bit to get it there, but it will move in there eventually. Now, the last step to do on here is once you got that spring in there, most of the time it's not gonna lock into the slot that it needs to be. So you are gonna have to move that spring plate over just a little bit, just till it locks in with the safety here. So you can kind of see the little tab right there. We're gonna have to move, move this over that way, lock it into place. So that is now locked into place. There should be a little gap in between there. And now we can operate that safety and the safety won't fall out. Okay, now that we have the safety installed, we can put in the trigger. And that, we just line it up, this little notch, with the magazine safety there. So you know you have the right side. And then all you really need to do is pop it in there and then push up on the back here. There, it should pop right into place. Then, last thing for the frame is we just need to put in magazine release. So, put that piece in there, 
flip this over, put in the button there, give it a couple thwacks. And there. All done. So the frame is all assembled now. So next up we have my favorite part of this, which is installing the hammer and sear assembly. So first thing we're going to have to do is put in the sear and also the safety. So over there, safety goes in first. There's a little notch in the top here that you slide this in, line it up with the hole like that. And then for the sear, this needs to be where the sear spring is butting up against that little pin. So we're going to put it on here. It needs to be able to press up against there. So we'll put this in at an angle. In here, slide through. Yep, let's engage there. Then the safety should move down and then just lock into place like that. Now, one thing to note that I'm noticing here is because it doesn't have pressure pushing up against it with the hammer, this pin can fall out pretty easily. So, if you need to, just kind of, you know, hold on to it or you know, put a little bit of pressure on the sear just so uh, it stays in place. So next, we're going to install the hammer. For this, pop in the spring, put our plunger in here, and we're going to be wanting to install this. So it comes down like that, presses up against that pin. So we're going to start it off, put a punch through here um, just to get it started. And then I'll show you what we're doing next. Put our plunger in here. And we're going to be wanting to install this. So it comes down like that, presses up against that pin. So we're going to start it off, put a punch through here um, just to get it started. And then I'll show you what we're doing next. So flip it upside down here, get your punch ready, press down. There we go. And then catch it just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to clamp it down right here. And we want to get it to where you can see all the way through that hole right there. And then what we'll do is we'll take a pin and drive it all the way through. like that. Next, we have the magazine, which is pretty simple. Take that top plate, slide it in there. Spring goes in there like that. Then you have your base plate here. That has the little lip that needs to face up to lock everything in position. We're just going to push that down. And then you have your other base plate right here. This slides right on top of it. Just 
like that. All right, now that we have the pre-assembly done, we can do the final assembly. So we'll start slide first, slide in the barrel, the slide spring goes in through there, flat side of this plate should be facing down towards the slide. Then on the frame, we're going to drop in the hammer and sear assembly, and that will actually latch onto this little pin right there. Now you can see the slot right here and where that attaches. That just drops into place there. And the whole thing slides on top just like that. So pull the spring out a little bit. And then if you look through here, you want to move the slide just so the barrel kind of moves out of the way. And then you'll be able to put in your slide stop. Drop that into place. Just like that. So that's all locked in. And then, by the way, this is not facing at me. It's just facing at the camera. Now you can push the slide spring down. Put on your nose cap there. Small, small part facing up. And then push it in, and then you just twist it around, and then that'll lock right into place. And finally, we can put on our grips, starting the one in the back there with just the simple bar. Slide that to lock it into position. We put the other one there. And that has that little tab. We're going to reach in, push over, lock it into position, just like that. And then we are all assembled. So let's test it out, make sure it fires. So empty magazine, slide goes back, slide release, that works, we should be able to fire. There we go. More videos like this please hit like and subscribe it really helps out the channel you can also find me on instagram and twitch in the description below until next time take care of yourselves